Welcome to Meet Your Netas. Today we are joined by the former Union Minister and four times Member of Parliament Rajiv Pratap Ruri from Saran. Thank you for speaking to us, Hi. sir. Hi. Uh, you have won a Saran constituency for four times. This is your fifth bait. How are you prepared? How much are you prepared? See, How, what's uh, your agendas? People want. No, it's to... very simple. That I have been working in this constituency for the last so many years, and I have a sense of commitment which the people. Uh, who understand Hindi, who speak Hindi, understand my commitment to this district. Uh, I've been more or less free for a couple of years and very kind of the Honorable Prime Minister that he did give me an opportunity to work in the government and thereafter I'm working in my constituency these days. And it is, it's a, it's a, a phenomenal situation and it's not that I've come yesterday or today for the elections. I've been here. I stay in a village. I stay in a rural area. When I leave Delhi, fly a plane and land in Patna, then I am not in Patna as a state capital. Possibly I would be one of the few politicians, there would be many of course, uh, who stay uh, in a rural area. So I love my constituency, I love my people and I am committed to them. That no one can challenge, not at all. So, so you have de uh, defeated Rabi, uh, Rabi Devi uh, and more, one more uh, family member, I can tell you the Kavra, list. I can tell you and, the list. Uh, yeah, I have yes. been contesting uh, the whole tragedy of my political life is that the country knows Lalu Prashad Yadav, but barely anyone knows who has been contesting and defeating him. And that is a big challenge for me because I speak English. I am I, I am reasonably presentable. I fly planes. I can practice in the Supreme. I practice. And my aura doesn't fit into a contest with Lalu Yadav. And that's the biggest disadvantage which I have. So I have to behave like one to be Lalu Yadav. But fortunately, the people of this district who once elected Lalu Yadav have uh, elected me also. So I've contested against Lalu Yadav. I've contested against his normal political nominee. I've contested against the wife, uh, the honorable former chief minister, and, uh, Mrs. Rapi Devi. She has lost to me. I've contested against uh, son uh, uh, in-laws, and they have lost Hachandrikara. So I have a uh, I have been contesting Lalu Yadav. I mean, my last uh, whenever since the time I became an MLA in this district, I have been contesting Lalu Prashad Yadav. But but, so, but sir, uh, I, I would like to inter uh, interfere here. You said uh, this time, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the candidate who is uh, who has stood against you is uh, you know Rohini Acharya. She is from Singapore. She is <laughs> a doctor, only, MBBS, and uh, she, she has she, the qualification. And absolutely. more importantly, sir. Uh, she uh, has the sympathy of people because she has donated her kidney to her father. So uh, this is one of the agendas of at least well, RJ. Well, every every father should have a daughter like her. Absolutely no, no second thought about it. And uh, but this battle is this fight is not against uh, his daughter. This fight is against Lalu Prashad. Every time, and you see, it's a family hierarchy. Right? There is no political candidate. His party does not have leaders or maybe candidates. So he has to feel, when he moves to the jail, he has to feel his wife as a chief minister. He puts his son, elder son, and he makes him a minister in the cabinet in the state government. He gets a ticket to him. His younger son becomes a deputy chief minister. His elder daughter becomes um, MP in the Raj Sabha. She loses the Lok Sabha, goes to the Raj Sabha. And I believe she's again contesting the Lok Sabha, still in the Raj Sabha. Younger daughter, he gets to Pachapla to contest. Uh, this is what the people understand. It's not that the people in Chapla, Bihar or the country don't understand. They understand that it's just a business for them. So, Saran Lok Sabha constituency comprises of uh, six Vidhan Sabha constituencies. Uh, and in, among six, uh, four have been won by RJD and two uh, are so only won by I BJP. Tell you. So, how, how, what's your... Formula here. It's a very good story, and you can, you can, if you have to rem remember this, there was a time in all the six assembly constituencies they had the Rashtriya Janata Dal. There was a time when Chief Minister Lalu Prashad Yadav was the Chief Minister of the state with six assembly con constituencies in this district in 1996 under his control. Still, I did one win. So I think your calculations can be made easy that way. Okay, sir. So RJD is accusing you that the plight of Saran is because of Rajiv Pratap Ruti. Just How do you count, just count turn, that? Just turn the camera and see the roads. Just turn the lights on in the evening and see the elec city. Just see the roads, the national highways, the network of national highways. Just see the bridges which are coming up over Kanga. At this point of time, work more than 32,000 crores. If I stop my car, it's a village. 
I'll show you a pipeline. It's a village where you're passing. These houses are having gas connection, which you do not find in the cities. Yes, there is not. Chapra is a model district in the country for many who understand politics and who understand development. But I will not deny he is an opposition. He has every right to speak against me. And he can speak and he can keep speaking. No one is going to hear him out. At least in Chapra, no one is going to believe him. Any policies for industries set no, up no, no. here in this Sanjay? Is, this is a question which is very uh, different. Policies are not sent by uh, members of parliament or state ideas leaders. can be sent. I have got brilliant ideas. I have been working on it. And anyone who knows Rajiv Pratap Rudi, he knows at policy level, at implementation level, execution level. But as of now, what is my big deal? Whatever is announced by the Prime Minister at the national level, I steal it, I bring it, I study it, I fight for it and get it for Chapra. So that's, that's the thing which matters. So all the policies, the largest Aushman cards for stakeholders or the poor people has been given in the district of Saran in Bihar. So you talk about anything, the gas pipelines, even the country has not seen gas pipeline in cities. Today, Saran, Saran district has gas pipelines in all these villages. And that's a fact which people understand. So it doesn't work. Internet connectivity is 100%. Electricity round the clock. Roads are beautiful. Connectivity is there. Land value is going up. What more they want? And, and of course, uh, I am a semblance of law and order. People do trust me. And even the community which supports Lalu Yadav trusts me much more than him. So issues like uh, uh, Ram Mandir 370, 3CAA, oh, uh, uh, are they going to work or what? or the or Tejeshwi Yadav's no, job card, no, which, no, no, which no, is no, seen no. as a big, big agenda the for RJD this time? Work, what we do is what the Prime Minister plans and executes in the country. But all those decisions which have been taken by the government, whether it is triple talaq, the legislation on there, whether it's Article 370, and whether it is Ram Janambuvi, it's a catalyst to this election. Things you will not believe what is happening in Bihar at the ground level. It's, it's a great faith in the Prime Minister. So last time you won by a margin of around 1,30,000 votes. What's your uh, target this time? Uh, behaving or speaking anything that as if let the elections happen. You can see it at the ground level. There's a ground swell. People trust me and I trust them. That's all what I have to say. I cannot count the numbers before the elections and I believe it's going to be. It's going to be very good. So the BJP has trusted you again. Yeah, uh, are the people going to reciprocate this? Well, this is a question from your side. You'll have to ask the people whether they are going to do that or not. But I have got a great trust in the people of Saran. And uh, whenever I cross this place where you are crossing today, occasionally I fly a plane. I am a captain with one of the largest airlines in this country. No one believes me in this. My captain colleagues don't believe that I'm a... No, I've seen you flying because <laughs> I was in the same flight uh, so, when you were flying. And, and I dream yeah. for Bihar. And I travel across the world and I dream whatever I dream, I dream to establish it in Bihar. And I'll show you the place where you are passing by. It's going to be a place, it's my destiny is good and dream is true. The place where you are passing by is going to have the largest aerodrome in the country in Southeast Asia. The plan is there. It's an approved project. It's a milestone for Bihar. It's a vision for Bihar. And I'm only afraid that it's taking more time. I have vision. The land of this particular area where you are crossing is to be hardly a thousand, ten thousand rupees a katha. Today, even a crore is less for them. And that is what I, I, I add wealth to the economy of this district. You can look and turn around at the roads. Before you part with me, and you must look at these places where you're passing. Look at the roads, look at the streets, look at the lights, look at the gas pipelines, look at the net connectivity, look at the ambulance services. There is a semblance of big administration and I think I'm a very good part of it. So for next five years, uh, are these uh, projects are going to continue or uh, something many, new? There are uh, many more in the pipeline. There are many more in the pipeline. Unthinkable uh, projects which Bihar will not, may not witness. It would be too short for me to speak it out now. Okay. So uh, your word on Parivar Vad again, because we have seen the tickets have been given to uh, you know Rohini Acharya again uh, sparking the controversy on that. Well. Uh, they are not political parties, they are individuals, there are clans, there are chieftains, they are not politicians. And uh, I would have been happier if Lalu Yadav would have contested against. Actually, this battle is against Lalu Yadav. And I have already explained, 
how the whole family contests the election. Is it a political party? Do they deserve to be in politics? Do they deserve to lead Bihar? And the bane of Bihar? I became an MLA when Mr. Lalu Prashad Yadav became the chief minister. 30 years of my political life, he is there and he is in a reasonably large majority. What does he do except hatred, except... Look at the family of politics. Everyone has been charge sheeted, whether it's ED or CBI or land scam or job scam. And this is what Bihar would always take it. But again, the question about the, you know, uh, the integrity of the, uh, you know, the, the organizations, uh, the ED, ID. Uh, no, no, that, that is a different question. Politics. You can challenge the constitution if you have to. But as long as this constitution is there, they are, uh, they are embodiment of the constitution. You can challenge, the, you say those things about the judiciary. You can say those things about the executive. That is not important. As long as we accept the judiciary, as, as long as the constitution, we have to validly have faith in that. I will even have a faith in a small SHO or a police constable who stands by the road. Even he may be corrupt, but he has a uniform. We respect that uniform and he has that authority. That aspect has to be dealt on a different platform. So your last uh, question is this. Uh, what's your message to the people of Saran as well as the country as far as the country, uh, aspiration of NDA is concerned? country deservingly had Prime Minister Modi as the Prime Minister. Country deserves him, country needs him, country has faith in him. And uh, what people say in the country that uh, Modi had to guarantee him, so Chapra means people say Rudi had to guarantee him, and I'm just a small portion of that. So this was the man who flies plane. He has his name recorded in Lingga Book of Records, Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudi, speaking exclusively with CNN News 18.